Hi guys, welcome back to Nebula Fox Toy Reviews. Um, I know Neb's not here today. It's Corvus again. Uh, Neb's having a little bit of a break, but I still wanted to do a first introduction. So you've got Corvus instead. So yay! Anyway, today we uh, we're taking a look at an anime figure because it's the first video of June. So. Uh, as you know, the first video of every month is an anime figure review of some sort, or it's an anime video anyway. So today, we're looking at Figma Nanami from Jujutsu Kaisen. Now this figure is brand new. As of recording this video, this figure arrived a couple of days ago, I think it was. <clears throat> so yeah, so this figure is brand new. Only just arrived on my doorstep, pretty much, so I thought, what better figure to be the anime review of this month than Nanami. So, let's head on over to the review table and uh, take a closer look at him, shall we? I'll see you over there. Okay, so, here we are, and there he is, and of course, since we have him in the box... Uh, we're going to take a closer look at the box before we look at the figure. Now, the figure has been opened, but I have not taken anything out. I literally took like the plastic um, casing out, looked at him, and then put it back. Nothing has actually come out of the plastic, so... I guess this can be sort of like a first impressions as well as a review. But, uh, yeah. So anyway, the box. Here is the box. It's a... It's quite a small box. This is sort of the box that I uh, am used to getting figmas in. The two Demon Slayer ones I've reviewed recently-ish. Over the <laughs> the Demon Slayer ones I've reviewed on this channel came in big boxes, and those were like exceptions to the rule. But figmas tend to come in smaller boxes like these, unless they have tons and tons of accessories or like one big accessory that just needs a bigger box. So anyway. Here is Nanami's box, we've got a mustard colour for the background and we've got a nice picture of the figure here and we have a window so you can have a look at the figure. He is wrapped in plastic in the box so you don't get the best view of him because the plastic kind of gets in the way. But anyway, we have the Good Smile Company up here. Uh, the logo, the Good Smile Company is the uh, one that makes figmas, they also make um the nendroids and the pop-up parade uh statue figures uh i think they make nendroid dolls as well but obviously they fall into the nendroid um thing <clears throat> so yep yeah. we've got the figma logo here so figma is the the line of figures that's the company that's the line and we've got the jujutsu kaisen logo which is number pro product number 570 in the line, in the range. There was a little bit of a scratch there on my box, but okay. Oh well. Uh, Nanami, no idea what that says, and that's like copyrights and stuff. And we have the Toho animation logo, so that's the front. On the side, we have another nice picture of Nanami. On this side, another nice picture of Nanami. Also, it says, like, Nanami in the, that, on the back. On the top, we have pretty much everything that was on the front. On the bottom, the Nanami again. Nanami is on all sides of this box. And on the back, you have your, like, the advertising promo shots that they take of the figure. So we have some of the poses he can do, showing off some of the accessories he comes with. And then we have just outright that lit that picture that just shows all of his accessories. And we have all these warnings and stuff which are mostly in Japanese, but they are starting to put English on the box, which is really good. And it's for ages 15 and up because these are not toys. <clears throat> these are more just collectible figures that you would pose every now and then um, and then stick on a shelf. As it says here on the lip, we've got sheet parts inserted behind the inner paperboard. So if I take this out, it basically means if I take the cardboard out, 
we have Nanami's effect part, which is this. So it's like he's done a big slash with a blood stain. So basically that. I'm not actually going to take this out of the box. This will remain in the box forevermore unless I really want to get it out. So there is a look at it. It's on just like a very thin uh, sheet of plastic. So this will bend very easily if you do not keep it flat. So that was that accessory part that is remaining in the box forevermore. So here is the figure itself so if i just come around the back and get the ex some of the minor accessories out there we go and i can just put that sellotape back what's that was this piece of plastic for anything that doesn't really seem to have held anything in at all oh well unless that piece of plastic was for the bag so yeah figmas come with little ziploc sandwich bags um for you to keep all of the accessories in so you don't have to keep going back to the box so you can just put all the accessories in here and then put the box in storage or something so you got figma and then you've got a blank space there for you to write the name of um the figure that all the accessories belong to <laughs> Now let's get Nanami out and all of his accessories. They are held in by tape. So I shall just get him out first. So I'll just put this off to the side and we'll take a look at the figure first. So here he is. <sighs> I love the smell of a new figure, but these things, but freaking figmas, can <laughs> smell. <laughs> they smell. <laughs> Uh, it's just the new plastic smell along with the uh, the dye used and stuff. So it's like the ink. So here he is. He looks very nice. So we've got his glasses there. He's got his goggles on. There is a face. He does come with a face that where he doesn't have his goggles or glasses or whatever you want to call them. They don't actually hook on anywhere. So I'm going to say goggles. So yeah. Here he is, a very nice face sculpt, nice hair, I do like the hair sculpt. This sharp, so like I said, these aren't really for uh, kids, <laughs> so there are some sharp bits on them, but the head looks very nice. We're going down to his suit, I, I do love his tie. His tie has a really funky pattern on, and I like it. With a nice blue shirt, and then just the grey, the grey suit with the grey trousers. And his little, and his uh, shoes. So that's, <laughs> that's that. Uh, really, really nice sculpt, very nice paintwork. Uh, that's all you can really say about just looking at the basic figure. For articulation, the head, um, the, it's not on a ball joint, it's on a figma joint. So we can look all the way up pretty much. And if you change it with the neck joint, we can actually look all the way down. But with the head just on its own, up, you can't really look down with just the head on its own. It has to work with that neck joint. You can get a tiny bit of side to side, but not much. But also you can get the rotation in. The neck joint, is that on a ball joint? The neck is on a ball joint. So you can get a bit of a uh, wiggly waggle there with the neck. I don't want to do it too much though because Figma these, Figmas these days are a lot more fragile than Figmas back in the day. Arms can, uh, should be able to go all the way up. If you move them, oh god, if you, <laughs> if you dislocate his arm and move it out, then the arm can go all the way up so he can T-pose. That just looks really odd. <laughs> so let's let's just um put his arm back in. Yeah, it's like um a weird barbell joint. So if you can see it in there, you've got one joint there and then a ball joint at that end, and 
Yeah. So that it, that end is just a normal up and down joint, but that there that goes into the arm is a ball joint. So the arms can do a full 360, as to be expected in figmas. But I don't know if that is doing a full 360 on that figma joint, or if it's doing a 360 on the uh, ball joint. Huh, okay. It's doing a full 360 on one of the joints. We'll leave it at that. Elbow joint single hinged elbow joint but you do get a nice range of movement in that elbow and obviously hinges can be swivels as well so you do get an elbow swivel actually it's kind of like a double jointed elbow because you do have um it's basically you've got the peg that goes into the lower arm and then the upper arm is a ball joint, so you do sort of have double jointed elbow. That's weird. This this is a weird thing. This figma has weird engineering. <laughs> uh, hands are on pegs, uh, like the swivel hinges, so you can move them. You can rotate them. If you rotate them on the hinge, you can then... So if I just do... Oh, it doesn't want to do it. You can usually rotate them so you can then get some... Oh, there you go. You get some side to side as well. But yeah. Uh, for his... Does he have any waist articulation? He does have the waist articulation. So he does have a, a bit of an ab crunch and an arcing back. So I'm, I am extremely sorry, but I am holding his... Uh, crotch and his butt so it's not the leg joints that are doing this so you do get a little bit of a wiggly waggly in like his torso he is on a ball joint just gonna put his arms out a bit his legs can go his legs can pop off because you can actually change out the torso so I'm, I'm not gonna do that just now just yet i need to actually get his pants back in i need to get his legs back in That in? That's in. So anyway, his legs, <laughs> uh, his suit jacket is made of a soft, um, like, bendy material, so it won't fully get in the way. But his legs can go forward that far, backwards that far. He has a single jointed knee, but it has quite a nice range of movement, so you've got that much range in the knee. The feet are on, oh god. Have I just... Don't tell me I've just broken that. Nope. So your feet are on uh, rockers like that. And you can also eh, bend the toe a little like that. Eh. So that is that. You can stand up nicely. Eh. Ooh, sort your feet out. There we go. He can stand up without his base, but figmas do come with bases. So I'm just going to open this bag. I have my scissors. So I can open this bag. There we go. So this will be the stand for the effect part, so that is just going to stay in the box because I ain't going to use that. We do have a spare uh, Figma joint, which is good in case one breaks. We have his spare hands, which we'll take a look at later. And this is the Figma base. So if you want to do any like, you know, dynamic poses. So you've got the joints, joint. Joint, oh, okay, spin it around. Joint, joint, and then spin that around. Joint, so you got three joints on the base, and that just pegs into the back of the figure here. Eh. Like so. So then you can 
if you want to. Hmm. And you just rotate him on that peg joint. Come on. Eh. I do have a feeling I that peg on this foot has just broken, but it's holding on by a thread, so his foot's staying on. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to, you can you know have him on the base. You can do aerial poses. The joints do stay quite nicely on the base. Have I actually broken his foot? Because this one... I'm not going to move the feet now, but that one, you know, doesn't really want to move. Whereas this one now really wants to move. Have I actually broken that peg? That does actually look like it's snapped. Yep, that has um, snapped. Um, so yeah, that has now snapped. So I might have to try and um get that out and put that joint in it's not the right color the pegs on his feet are black um but okay <laughs> yay there we go first figure that broke right out of the box oh well <clears throat> anyway his hands these are his extra hands so we have hand wearing the glasses that is more going to be for the face with the no glasses we have grabby hands we have open palm hands or more relaxed grabby hands we have now that to me would be a gun holding hand so it looks like a trigger finger uh we have one that is all wrapped up in his tie and then the two hands that the figure comes with um which are the fists uh, if I just bring the spare parts over here, we have two faces. So we have a gasping face or something. The glasses on. We have the face without the glasses. We have extra. Oh god, I'm just gonna take that out so it don't fall out. We have extra tie pieces. This is for when we can change the torso out. And we have his watch and we have his weapon so i'm just going to get the these spare parts out no, i don't think that's actual tape i think it is just all right so it's a weird sort of tape it's a weird tape so let's just get these out I'm hoping there's an instruction sheet so we can have a look as to how to change the torso out because I don't want to break it even more. So let's just get all those out of the way. Ah, there are instructions. Hold on. Instructions. This is turning into a really like a disaster of a video. <laughs> right, instructions. Uh, they are in English and Japanese. They used to just be in Japanese. Uh, swapping face parts. Well, we know how to swap Figma faces, so let's swap a face first. So to swap a face, you just need to pull the fringe off. I don't know where the joint is for where the fringe and the main hair separate. I think it's, there we go. So you just pull the fringe off and then you pull the face off that you want, that you don't want. I'm going to put the no glasses face on. So there we can, then we just put the new face on. And then put the fringe back on. This one is... Okay, there we go. So there he is with his new face. Which I quite like. I think I might keep him on with this one. And then change his hands. So he's got his uh, goggles hand. 
which is this hand. Oh, come on. There we go. And then to swap the hands out, you just pull the hand off you want to take off. Put it on the hand tree. The right way around. There we go. Put it on the hand tree. Put the new hand onto the peg. Eh. There we go. And there we go. So you can do the whole... If you work both of those elbow joints, he can do the whole thing like he's taking his goggles off. There we go. So that is that. Jeez, this guy is so fragile. Right, how do I go about swapping the torso out? Because this is the second torso he comes with. Eh. Get that bit of protective plastic off. So this is the second torso he comes with. Um, it's basically just he's taking the shirt off. Taking his shirt off. No, his shirt. He's taking his jacket off. So now he's just got the shirt with rolled up sleeves. Uh, how do I go about changing that part? Oh, okay. I'll well, just pull the legs off. Boink. Pull the head off. Well, the neck. Oh my god. Eh, boink. And there we go. So we've got that torso taken off. So then we just clip that into there. And there's a better look at what the joints are like in the body. With the um, like the ab crunches and stuff like that. So there's a better look at all the joints. See, so yes, that literally just pegs in there. I do not like that peg. I do not like that. Uh, and then we can put his tie on, because I do want him with his tie. And then, that just looks weird. And we can put the, actually let's put the neck in the tie bit first. There we go. And then we just put the neck in. Do we just put the neck in? Like so. There we go. That looks about right. And there we go. We have him without <coughs> without his shirt. Without his jacket, even. The articulation is all exactly the same. So now do we have an actual proper bicep swivel? Nope. Nope, we don't. But yeah, so there we go. We've got proper... Um, better things now. So the hands that this torso comes uh, with are even more open palm. So these are more relaxed open palm hands. Whereas these ones, that the open palm that are on the hand tree, seem to be a bit more grabby. Like fighting. Like more aggressive hands. So, uh, yeah. Warming the parts in one walk first. When warming parts, this might be careful not to burn yourself. Oh, that's for giving him the weapon. There we go. So, uh, let's put his watch. Where's his watch? Here's the watch. He does have a little, a teeny tiny watch. My camera is probably not going to focus on this. So, it does come with a little tiny watch. I'm actually going to give him the watch. Which way round does Le Watch go? Shrink resistant plug? Maybe insert in some part? Where? Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. Alright, so let's just take a hand off. <coughs> There we go, we'll take a hand off, we'll put the watch on his wrist. And we'll put the hand back on. Oh, that, that's just popped up. Okay. So we'll put that back on. 
these harms just popped off but that's okay because that's on a border so I can just pop back in really easily and yep so now he you're gonna you, you're gonna show it off so now he has his watch he can show his watch off to you that is a really loose bulger. I do not like that. I mean, I don't think his arm's going to fully pop off while I'm playing with it. But I don't like that it's quite a loose fit. That is even more of a ball joint. So That's even more of a ball joint than how it's connected on his... I'm going to say his work torso. <laughs> That's just weird. Because it's now just skin... Rather than that, it's even more of a double jointed elbow. That is weird. And oh, there we go, it's popped out again. That is weird. I'm gonna go in any further because this one looks like it's in a bit further. But yeah, it's like it's even more of a double jointed elbow now. So that is uh, really weird. Uh, let's give him his weapon anyway. So this is his. This is his weapon. So, yay. I can't remember what it's called, but it's his weapon. Uh, it needs the grabby hand. Here we go, the grabby hand. Don't like the sound of that. Grabby hand. Yeah, so this is the bit where it says you might need to warm it up. So actually, I'm not going to give him his weapon, <laughs> as I don't want to risk damaging it. But yeah, so that is the... I think that's everything. Is that everything? Yeah. Is that everything the instructions say? Swapping the head. Uh, swapping the torso. Yes, it is. I wonder if that... Is actually one of the t it's a tie hand if you know what I mean. Which hand is it? It's um, it's this hand. I'm just going to try something. Is it a tie hand? Oh, for fuck's sake. Is it the hand where he sort of can... Yeah. This freaking ball joint. And if I move your arm... Fucking ball joint. Move the arm up like so. Get full use of the... You can pick his nose. <laughs> Make full use of that double ball... Double jointed elbow... Move the elbow forward. Is he one? Make a fuck off ball joint. Okay, that ball joint is going to really annoy me. And you, you can't quite. I thought it was going to be one where it can look like he's adjusting his tie. But the the joints don't quite. Allow him to die, ball joint. Uh, it's safe to say he's going to be having his um, suit on <laughs> because this 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 elbow is really annoying me. But no, I thought it was going to be one where it could look like he was adjusting his tie, sort of thing like that. But no, it's a something else hand. I don't know what it's for. So you can have your relaxed hand back. So it's weird. It. It will, this ball joint will support the figure, but it just does not want to stay in when it comes to articul articulating it. It doesn't want to stay in. But anyway, that, um, this figure's kind of a mess. Don't get me wrong, I like it. Um, I like the fact that you can get the two two different um, torsos, so you can have him with or without uh, his jacket on. I think I'm going to keep him with his jacket on, just because, like I said, this uh, ball joint is too loose. I don't think it's going to pop out while he's on my shelf, 
but it's going to get really annoying it constantly popping out while I'm fiddling with it and I don't want joints popping out while I'm fiddling with a figure but it he, he's still a really good figure in fact let's um swap the torsos back out so we'll put that put the head back on here there we go and we'll put the legs back on as well there we go yeah that joint has annoyingly broke but i don't think that foot's gonna like pop off unless i try and move it the other way but yeah, anyway that is figma nanami he is he is cool i don't feel like that went in properly Let's pop the that's because the joint isn't lined up properly. The joint wasn't straight, so his neck was at a funny angle. All right, let's just put this in here first. There we go. And then we can do that and pop it in there. Is that proper? There we go. His neck's on straight now. Uh, apologies for this mess of a review. Uh, I wasn't expecting this figure to be as fiddly as that. Oh, it was. I was not ready for the fiddliness of this figure. I was also not ready for it to bloody break on me. But, um, yeah, I, ap I apologise for the messiness of this video. Uh, but anyway, that is my review of Figma Nanami. Um, he is a cool figure. I won't, I'm not going to lie, he is a very cool figure. I'm glad to have him in my collection. He's one of my favourite characters. Probably the only... Jujutsu Kaisen Figma I'm going to get unless they make one of Mahito. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I shall see you all in the next video, whatever that'll be. Bye!